Hello my friends, in our last video, we did lots of configuration for the Dialogflow API. So we got a lot of private information and put them inside our application to connect the Dialogflow API with our application. And in this video, we are going to start making some code inside our application. The first I want to explain is how this application is structured and how the data come and goes. So first, inside our client, which is our browser in here, if I type something like this, so we just type something and then we send them to the server. But inside the server, there are two routes based on which kind of action we take inside our client. Uh, it will be separated into two routes. So after getting some requests from the client, the server uh, will also give some request into the API. And then the this dialogue API first take care of the request. And after dealing with all of them, this will give the response back to the server and then client. And inside the client, uh, we will just uh, show the response inside our browser. So um, this is uh, how the data flow inside our application with Dialogflow. So uh, we scroll down. So um, there are some steps that we need to do in this video. So first, uh, we will make two brief routes. So um, I say so inside our server, uh, we will have these two routes. So if I first explain what is this two route is, uh, there is a text query route. Uh, this one is if we type something normal, uh, it will go to the text query route. So if I just type something like, hello, well, how are you? It will give me just a normal text back. But, but if I just uh, refresh this page, even though I didn't type anything, it actually gave me some information like Jonah's website and nice to meet you. So these kind of things that use this event query loud. So this one uh, means that without type something, something can be triggered with predefined event. So inside our dialog flow, the website, so we just uh, predefine something like the event in here, introduce my website. And then I type, this is a John An's website, nice to meet you. So this one is the same as this one. So whenever this page starts, so I will trigger this uh, event so I can get this response back. So this one needs to use uh, this event to query loud. So there we will use these two routes to make this application. So first we are going to make this text query loud in this video. So we will turn on our text editor. Uh, first we go to routes and then dialog flow in here. We are going to make the uh, routes, these two routes inside the dialog flow in here. Before we stop typing something in here, um, we have a lot of the dependencies in here for this application, like inside, if you see this package.json, um, you can see a lot of dependencies like this. So to download these dependencies, uh, we need to type just the install, uh, npm install and enter. And we also have some dependency inside the client for the inside the client in here. So we can also download these dependencies for client right now. So to do that, so first we need to change the our directories, uh, cd client, and then in here we will type npm install again to download the dependencies for the front end. So now we downloaded all of the dependencies that we need for this application. So let's go back to our root directories. And so in here, so now we go back to our download flow, the file inside of routes. So in here, uh, we will make two routes. One is the text query route, text query 
Laos and the and the other one is Event Query Lao. Okay, first the for this the text query Laos. So I'm going to use the a louder that comes from the express module. So louder and then uh, we will just use the post request. Uh, we don't have our front end yet, but the inside our front end later when we type something like this uh, we will send the request that's the endpoint will be api dialog flow and this one is text query so just a text query like this if we use this louder we don't need to type this one so we can just uh, put this one inside a so index.js in here so like this i already wrote this one in here so when we send a request from the our front end uh, first we will find api and dia dialog and then uh, we will go to this further server and laos and dialog flow which is server laos and dialog flow and then we will find this last uh, endpoint name. So after that, uh, we are going to call the callback function, then request and response like this. And in here, uh, we are going to do something to send some information we got from the client uh, into the dialog flow API by explaining again in here. So we need to send some send some information that comes from the client to dialog flow api so in here we need to know how to send some information into dialog flow api to know that uh, first we need to refer to the dialog flow the website which is this one dialog flow npm website so inside this google we can just type dialog flow npm so we can go inside this one so if we scroll down this one is for the node.js client the dialog flow api uh, scroll down so there is a documentation how we can use this dialog flow api so we will just uh, copy all of them and then we can just put everything in here we already downloaded this dependency so if we see this package.json we already have this dialog flow or dependency so we just uh, put them in here put this one in here and send send a query to the dial flow agents and return the query wizard maybe we don't need this one so when we send the uh, request to the dial flow api we actually need to create a new session so we put them up in here maybe with this uh, explanation Okay, put them in here. So to create a new session, uh, we need the project ID. But uh, inside the dev.js, we already have this dialog flow session ID and then project ID. The for the session ID, you can change anything like hello or hello session or anything you want. But for me, I will just uh, do both session. So we will bring this to Google project ID and dialog flow session ID. So in here, so const of project ID. So config project ID. Uh, first, const to config require config and keys and use this config and then Google project ID and this one Google project ID then we make one more const 
session ID config dialog flow session ID. So we put this project ID in here and session ID in here. We just created a new sessions. So we already made the session ID so we can delete this one and we can delete this part too. So this one we put so we put this session pass. So uh, inside the request, we put this session in here. And then this text is when we type something in here, like hello, this uh, hello, this come inside in here. So if I type uh, how are you, this uh, how are you text will come inside in here. So this one needs to be the dynamic then this hard coded one. So to change this one, we can just do request the body and text. So when we send some request from our uh, front end, uh, we need to use this uh, text property so we can get it like request body text. The reason why we can use this request body is that we already have uh, this body parser so that's why we can uh, get the request body text. Or maybe now I am like uh, ignoring so many basic information about Node.js or some React.js, but maybe if I need to explain too much basic thing right now, maybe I think this tutorial will be really long. So I am really trying to focus on how to make this chatbot application so I hope you can understand so if you cannot understand it really well right now maybe just you can just uh, leave some comment below and I try to explain some basic things too as much as I can so we also have the language code well we also put this one inside the dev.js like this so it can be more dynamic than just a hard code so we go upside in here, put a language code and config a dialog session language code. So, like this. And in here, we are using await. Await needs this async. So, we put this async in here. Async like this so we can use the await in here so in here by using this one uh, we put all of the request like the text that we type in here or so we put our session and in here together and then we send this one into the dialog flow and then inside the dialog flow they do something and then this one will respond back to the server this is the this part. So inside this response, there is some information we need to, to show inside our client, which is the browser. So rather than we just print out this the response, uh, we will just uh, send uh, this response back to the our front end. So to do that, we can just do res send and this result in here so like this so we finished making this text query route so now first i want to use this route to send some information into the dialog flow so to do that uh, we actually need the postman because we don't have this client yet because we didn't make any react things in here so um, that's why we need to use this postman so if you type postman in here so if you don't have this application yet so you can just click this one and then download this application so if i turn on this application postman so first we will click this the plus button inside in here we will uh, enter request url we are going to send the request inside our server route uh, named the text query route so uh, first uh, to do that, I need to turn on my application uh, that is npm uh, if we come inside the package.json so inside the uh, in here it's the package.json 
uh, to start our applications, we need to type the start. So, M so npm run start. So now we are running our applications uh, at the 5000 ports. So now by using this postman, so http uh, local host 5000 and then api and dialog flow and text query uh, see so text query text query and then this is the post request so we need to change this one to post so now we need to put some body uh, inside this uh, request uh, so we will click this row and then json data type and in here so we need to send this text so, so text so if i say hello and then i will click this send so i was having some problem with this uh, credential issues but i found the solution for this one so um, anyways if i just uh, like how how are you like this it will give me back some information so i typed the how are you and then the response was the one more time so the way of how i solved this problem was we need to put this one like put this the uh, environment variable so inside our directory root directory so last time i just turn up terminal i just tried to set this environment variable in the any directory but please do this one inside this root directory inside our application so first uh, i i recommend you to do like this you type up to here and then you put that uh this uh, private key in here so it will give us the directory and then you can just uh, click enter so now uh npm run star so we just uh, type one more thing hello send so now we can see the response hi and how are you doing and so for the window user so you can just uh, type like this set google application credential and the path for that file so for the mac user you need to type the export and for the window user you need to type the set so thankfully that we uh, finished making this uh text query loud so in our next video we will make this event query loud so thank you for watching this video and see you later thank you